It's your boy Quan G, and you watching T Nasty TV. Chill. I was born and raised in Fort Wayne, Indiana, you know what I mean, Fort Wayne native. Went down to Georgia for a little while and shit, but had to come come back to the crib because ain't nothing like Sweet Home, you feel me? Oh uh, shit, I've been doing my thing since so I about 13, about 13 years old when I really decided to start taking it serious, about 13. In the same I'm hood, in the same and I do my thing. I know them lanes which they could, but they can't. They can't. So I'm gonna do it to the max. Uh, no, actually, I haven't always been by the name of Quan G. A homeboy gave me that nickname in high school. I used to uh, go by the rap name Money Q, and so a few other names, but nothing really ever stuck with me. So they were always just calling me Quan. But in high school, my dude hit me with the Quan G. And, you know, it's been that ever since. For my D I C K, she done, she do my click. Everywhere I go, they trying to take pics. Grab a couple model chips. I was 13 when I recorded my first track. About 13, by the same time I jumped in, I started writing songs at 13. And 13 going on to 14, I just got in the booth. And then. You niggas gon' need a jet. Never believe I be in debt. I'm done. I'm gonna let low. Uh, the first group that I was in was Street Soldiers. <laughs> it went by the name SS. We was called Street Soldiers. Yeah, that was back in like middle school or so. We just, you know, we some young young kids with a with a dream. We build a build a group and you know did our thing. Just like you should. See me strolling when I'm rolling through your hood. Stack money, team. I know these niggas wish they could. What inspired me to do music? Uh, growing up watching uh back when uh Wayne was in the uh, like cash, seeing Cash Money and seeing um everybody like Nelly and seeing all them videos when I was. You know, growing up watching them, I'm like, damn. But I always had a passion for it, but seeing how they lived and how they lifestyles and the music videos, it just made me like, it made me, you know, want to do it more than I already had the passion, you know? Trying to get us to the telly so they can give us a show. Stack money, a motherfucking die stack money, nigga. Uh, the official members of the uh, stack money, you got me, you got my, my nigga Young Ron, you got my nigga Solo, and my boy Young Tone. I mean, them is the official. Rap, rap, rap members, the artists, the MCs, that's in Stack Money. Shout out to all my niggas. Stack Money. <laughs> and I go by the name of Quan G. Shout out to all my niggas, man. Um, before we started Stack Money uh, or Die Broke Records, I was uh, signed to Lyman Entertainment, Lyman Miller. Shout out to my dude, Lyman. Hey, I, was I was signed to him for uh, about a year or two. We was just doing little shows and shit around Fort Wayne. And you know, I mean, it was it was a pretty decent deal. You know, it was cool little promotion deal. Uh, I've been in a couple feuds. Uh, I was feuding with uh T Streets and the Tycoons at one point in time. We was going back and forth on YouTube and MySpace and shit, making little diss videos. And we didn't know nobody ever know who really came out on top of that. But I was I was you know what I mean that went on and uh. A uh, dude known as a uh, little Jew now. They call him. Uh, I mean, yeah, little Jew. He used to go by Cash Out back in the day, and we was doing our little rap feud and shit, going back and forth. You know, we was, it was really, it was really, it wasn't really no street beef. It was more on some music shit to see who could, you know, come out on top. And uh, this one cat named Mike Cool McGee. We was, uh, we was beefing and shit too. Well, you street beef, uh, rap beef, and I don't know what you want to call it, but you know that's how. I, I just took shit. I really, I left that shit where it was at, but. You know, that's those are the people I was feeding with. But I don't give a fuck cause I'm crunk and I'm fly. Under the influence, bitch, I'm drunk and I'm high. But I don't give a fuck cause I'm crunk and I'm fly. Uh, before I went to the joint, I dropped Real Nigga Radio 1 in April 2012. And Real Nigga Radio Volume 2 in uh, June 2nd, I think, of 2012. 
Yeah, those was the two mixtapes I dropped, and they both did good. The first one, I'm not gonna lie, the first one did better than the second one because the second one didn't have no promotion. I wasn't really, I didn't have time to promote it. I just, we just did it and dropped it. But the first one, it did real good on that pip. Um, this mixtape that I'm uh, getting ready to work on now will probably be my last mixtape for a minute. Get to doing more uh, music videos and shows and albums, but that's Real Nigga Radio Three Thoughts of a Felon, man. And you know that's the last chapter to the Real Nigga Radio. It's gonna be Real Nigga Radio Three Thoughts of a Felon. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm just gonna give y'all me, give y'all my story. Crunk and I'm fly, yeah. I'm under the influence cause I'm drunk and I'm high. But I don't give a fuck cause I'm crunk and I'm fly. Yeah, I wrote a uh, an autobiography, man. I wrote it about myself, about my life because I feel like shit, the shit that I've been through in my life, you know what I mean? I feel like it was important enough to write an autobiography. It got 20 chapters in it, it's titled Life Before Living, you know, so I'm just trying to bring everything together right now to a, you know what I mean, to a standpoint, but. Yeah, it's an autobiography titled Life Before Living. It's about me, about when I grew up to where I'm at now. Like. Oh, yeah, I got a daughter. Shout out to my baby girl, Silhouette, Lyric Guy. She'll be two years old next month. Daddy, love you, baby girl, you know. That's my heart right there. Under the influence, better watch me, dog. Said I'm under the influence because I'm drunk and I'm hot. But I don't give a fuck because I'm um, fly, bitch. Well, I'm willing to collab with anybody that's trying to collab with me. But as far as my mix, my mixtape go, the next mixtape I'm working on, you can hear a few. You might hear a collab from my nigga Checkmate the Flow. Shout out my nigga Checkmate. My nigga Young Ron, Young Tom, uh, Solo. You know, I ain't really, ain't, ain't nobody else really too much came to mind like that. You know what I mean? You know, cause shit, I'm, like I said, it's gonna be my mixtape, you know, I just got out, I'm trying to get a world me, but it's gonna be a few appearances on there, almost done. And it's not for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, once I get signed to a major label, mm, I just plan to take over, I don't plan to play no games. Once I get, you know, I got my little indie label going on right now, but... Once I get signed to a major label, I'm just going, you know what I mean? It ain't even all about the fame. It's about doing my passion and what I love to do. So once I get to the point that I'm trying to get, and that's with a major label, I'm just going, jet, I'm jet set. I'm, jet, I'm in jet mode. You feel me? Yes. Ain't no stop. In five years, honestly, I see me still in the music industry, but having my hands in a little bit of everything, like, just like stuff in, in, in my city and in the, in the community and uh, in the church and everything. But as far as music, I just see me a, a couple albums in, you know, maybe one or two albums in the game strong. One of the head niggas in the game, to be real. Straight up. Just went after what I wanted and knocked my opponents off. <laughs> my old head told me to always my nigga Meek Mill, man. Up, and I say, and <laughs> I say my nigga Meek Mill because I just I watched this dude like before he at where he at right now. I watched him come from being a, a nigga with nothing. Like all his YouTube videos before he got famous, where he had the nappy braids and shit. I watched him battle niggas and, and, and rap and get on the corner and rap. And he was really, really, all the shit he was saying, he really was doing it. Going in and out of jail and in and out of, you know what I mean, in and out of uh, facilities being locked up and on probation, you feel me? And his story kind of relate to my story in there, and I just feel his music. So, most definitely, me, Mill. From the time I started doing shows to now, well, we ain't gonna really count now. We gonna well, well, from the time I started to the time that I stopped doing shows, <clears throat> I probably say I did about, about roughly like 200. I, I say about 200 shows, like, cause I was doing shows in Fort Wayne. Like I'd go to Jam Crib and do a show, uh, the Eagles Nest and do shows, um, Sunset and do shows, and then I go. I went to Ball State a few times and Muncie and uh, Portage, Indiana when I performed with Do or Die. So I didn't, I didn't, it's more than that, but it just, those was the most recent. But when I was younger, I was going down to the Hilton Hotel and a, a, few, a couple other spots and getting the shows in. Not even comfortable. Soon as you give them a bunk bed, they fuck over you. So keep it going. 
do what you supposed to do. Never look back. Stay focused on what's in front the of you. Next step, what you say. Don't once I get off this angle and shit, we shit. gonna uh, if you let them, they throw like a, probably like, you know, it ain't gonna sit too much of a party. It's gonna be more of like a, a, a showcase of all our music from everybody that's in our group. You know what I mean? I, I do a couple of, I do a slot, like 15 minute slot. Ron do his 15 minute slot. Tom, you know, solo. And we all do our little 15 minute slot, but it's, it's gonna be like, you know, I mean, somewhat of a party, but more of a showcase. But yeah, that's gonna be in the summertime sometime. Yeah. You feel me? Now, um, I'm a free agent right now, man. I ain't talking to nobody. Free agent, you know, I got the stack money, got no records going on. <coughs> stack money and T, that's going on right now, but I'm a free agent. I ain't under no contracts or nothing like that. You feel me? Feel what the fuck I was saying? Uh huh. Uh, actually, we stack money need a female, a female that can sing, that can rap, do both or one or the other. We, we really need a female, you know what I'm saying? So any females out there that feel like they want to get down with the label, get down with stack money and die broke, I mean, holla at me, holla, let me know what's up, let me know what's happening, you feel me? Shit, we need a female. That's doing anything, probably not nobody. I'm not talking about nobody local, but if, we, if I had to say somebody that's doing anything from the Midwest right now, I probably have to say Kanye. Like he putting on for the Midwest. Uh, there ain't too many more people that come come to my mind when I when, it, when that question's asked, but probably Kanye West though. He putting on for the Midwest. Cause to me, it's a it's a difference between a rapper and a poet. A rapper just a rapper can look at another nigga life and he ain't did nothing that the other nigga life that the nigga lifestyle, you know what I mean, got to do. Yeah. Anything that the nigga do, anything that the nigga lifestyle pertains to, he not he ain't doing none of that shit. He can look at his life, he can rap it all. But a poet, everything he say, it comes from the hardest passion that you gon' feel it when you listen to the music. You gon' feel it. So I feel like I'm more of a poet than a rapper because anybody can just rap. But it takes, you know, what I mean? it takes real talent to be a poet. So put myself in the poet pack. Pack pack. Big bills, money good, money good, big bills. We had a little situation before I got locked up, you know, and like, during the time I got locked up, so it's always going to be love on, they, on my end for them. I don't know how they feel about me, but right now I'm not really trying to, you know, get back into what I was doing with them, get all sidetracked and shit, so I mean, it's all love. I don't know if we ever be as cool as we were or as tight as we was back in the day, but, you know, like I said, it's all love. She done, she do my click. Everywhere I go, they trying to take pics. Grab a couple model chicks and make some pics. I'm tired of real Plug your nose, nigga. Uh, we the shit. You know what? I'm going to leave that guy again. You know? like Hopefully, I'll do good. Do more than good. Sell millions of albums. So but if I don't, then I'll just be a gold artist. That's cool with me. I just want to get my music done. I'm done. I'm going to let low. We'll do the rest, nigga. I'm on, nigga, I'm good, and I'm doing my uh, thing. Just you can check some of my music out on my YouTube page, www.youtube.com backslash Shaquan2212. And you can get on soundcloud.com backslash Quan G. Thatpiff.com backslash Quan G. You know, I'm all over the, all over the next song. You fuck with me, fuck with my music. That was excited to check out. I'm looking for these model bitches, like what's good? What's pop? Stack money, do it better than whoever. Ambition is the key to grind, and since it waits for no man, eventually you need some time. I took a break. Space is what I took in order for me to find what it is and what it was I had to do for me to shine. Lime like destiny. My rhymes my message and get through to the brains of these lames and these peasants. Your flow so see now, my style so present. That even when I freestyle, you would think that I sketched it. Where you at and where you will be is up to your conception. I know the fear of standing in the mirror staring at your reflection. It's crazy. I say we take the time and save each other from destruction so stunting can be daily. As an adolescent, a lesson is what they gave me. Follow the role of the models who bold and gave a brave speech. I lost my grandma. I got a daughter now. A lot of friends lost. They steady talking down. 
The puzzle was separated. I can draw it now and never hesitated to shake it or make the harder sound. They heard he got them things. Now everybody want to call around. Get the cheapest ticket and be able to say they bought a pound. I'm an eyewitness to being the kid on Christmas with a stocking that was scarce. Who cares about a wish list? Only way to operate is concentrate and obligate yourself to making sure secure. It's how your commas stay. I tend to conversate on how to make profit the proper way so my pockets can let me kick it. Without a soccer game, click, clack, boom, bang. I'm from where they not afraid to let that shoddy bang. Make your mama, your daddy collar hang. It's a bizarre world we live in. Feeling like it gotta change to all my thugs put down a gun. Go do the college thing to all my strippers take off your hip skirt. Get a job exchange, I voice my opinion and rep for my niggas locked in that riding cage. Most of the time is way more smooth than the time before. The time after that is the time you ball and you gotta score. Cleaned up my act and my rap, but I don't got no chores. Imposters try to provoke the heat, they end up getting torched. Remember in my youth drinking juicy juice sitting on the porch. The first and third was heaven on earth when we was living poor. My family always told me. Boy, you a special one. Became a leader and leaded my team to success and fun. Rocking shows, hearing my name being screamed. Shit, I guess I won. Prosecutor attorney want me to violate and do something dumb. I'ma finish this probation and then go on vacation. Make a video on her ass laughing because they hating. Get back to my community. Open up a youth center so when your kids feel in despair, that's where you send them. This my scarlet story. Everybody got some truth in them. What up, Ron? Stack money to the death. We the realest in it. Don't get offended or let these words offend you trying to be a hip-hop legend. But I was in the fender, waking up at 3 in the morning, whole dorm smelling pissy. Female CEO hoes, giving up that pussy. Niggas fighting over trays and arguing over cookies. That's all in my past, though. I wonder where the past goes. Stopping me? That's playing Monopoly. And you can't pass go. My little brother's getting older. Looking like what you mad for? Out of all your niggas, you the one to chase it instead of ask for. Remember, we were gang bang and have a gang full of green. Niggas is insane, chain hang, so they pulling me like, how he gonna get a rap deal? I've been working hard as you. The difference is I rap real. I'm hot dog barbecue. I do everything big. And most of the time, you might skew the true businessman. Nigga, you play games. Carnival, knock, knock on the door. They told everybody to get on the floor. SWAT team got beans, and I ain't trying to die for y'all. They raided his apartment. And found like 30 keys. Plus he had a bootleg on the side. He sold a little weed. All white Hyundai. I ain't never even touched the seats. But who knew that would have been my first whip. In just a couple weeks. Took a while to adapt. But now you know I'm up to speed. Relaxing with my feet up. Yeah, I'm living comfortably. Every time I thank Jesus, it's like the devil come for me. I need a cup and three blunts sometimes just to come for me. This rap shit real. It ain't never been an illusion. And if all you do is whine, you can forever be a loser. I admit, I supplement to the moves I make. Switch it up, change gears on gas, no brakes. Huh. But no, I ain't Fetty Stewart 18. I'm just a young black nigga who's pursuing his dreams, and that's that. Cheer. Shout out to all my niggas, man. Solo, my nigga Mark T, free my nigga Mark T, free my nigga Q Jack, free all my niggas that's locked down. Stack money or die broke records, man. You know what it is. Real nigga radio, three thoughts of a fella coming this summer. Cheetah.